Connecting the Relay G10S is super easy. Use the included power supply or a 9 volt 500 milliamp DC pedal board connection to power up. Then simply plug the instrument output into your first pedal or into the amp input. If you want to bypass an electric guitar amp, maybe for an acoustic signal, just run from the balanced XLR straight to the PA. And this could also work well with a direct bass signal. The transmitter charges on the receiver, and when it's fully charged, you'll see three green LEDs here and a steady green LED here. Now this LED will also flash red when there's less than 30 minutes worth of playing time. Now you have a choice of letting Relay G10S automatically choose one of its 11 channels, or you can manually select a channel. So this could be a better way of doing things if other members of your band also use Line 6 wireless systems. Now if you're manually selecting a channel, check the three LEDs as they will show you which channels have the most interference, and then you just choose the one with the least LEDs lit up. A little latch keeps the transmitter in place for transport, so press down this latch, then pull out the transmitter and place it in your guitar. Now at this point, you could opt to use the included angled adapter. This will not only put the transmitter at right angles to the guitar, but can also help you if your guitar has active pickups or non-standard jack wiring. And notice that the audio is automatically muted until it's securely in the guitar. so no loud bangs or pops through the amp as you change guitars. And in order to preserve battery life, this transmitter will enter sleep mode if it detects no audio for four minutes. But once you start playing again, it will start up again. And then that's it, it's ready to go. Thank you for watching.